I took German for two years, but even the language with some of the longest words in the world cannot simply sum up what I feel sometimes. It cannot sum up the emotions that are more than just sad or afraid or the feelings that swallow me whole when the heaviest heaviness comes in and settles in again. One word alone doesn't hold enough connotation to put enough weight into one's mouth. One word cannot carry enough mountains to portray chemical imbalances, but for you, I will try. But then I must explain even that one word using many others, hoping the weight of them all will cause gravity to be slightly heavier so you too can feel it, like going up floors on an elevator. Vault Einsamkeit, the feeling of being alone in the woods. I guess that's the closest we'll get to describing only a fraction of depression, a second of a lifetime of this chronic game of tug of war. It's this feeling of being lost and alone. With trees crumbling at your feet, you'll step on twigs. They will snap under your own weight. Each tree looks the same, a dull green. Each day looks the same, a dull gray. Smells the same, tastes the same. The sun won't shine through the places where the trees are the heaviest, where you are the heaviest. Sometimes the feeling of being alone in the woods is decent. It can be serene, perfect even. Lying in a meadow, flowers in your hair, some days it's all right. And some days you aren't alone. And some days a patch of sun warms your skin, and some days another person will join you. You'll still be lost, but lost with someone else. That can make it easier, but precaution is necessary. They never stay. You'll always go your separate ways, trying desperately to escape the trees, escape the deafening silence of the woods. It's a feeling too familiar to forget. Wald einsamkeit, the feeling of being alone in the woods.